you start. Okay. Hi guys. We're family thrifters. This is my sister Kim. And this is my sister Madison. And we are here today to show you all of the cool stuff that we found thrifting. If you've seen our videos before, we've already posted two of them. We will explain how much we paid for the items, how much we expect to get for them, and why we liked them. Okay. So, do you want to start? I can. Um, I think today's title should be Cups or Mugs. I think it's already <laughs> cups been or Cups or Mugs, I but know. maybe again. Lots of cups, lots of <laughs> mugs. Uh, but pictures in general, yeah. you know, 12 to $15. So I think that's where I will go with this one. Um, I paid, let's see, $4 for it. That's really cool. It kind of has that like mercury glass feel to it. It's almost And like it does have a label on it. And I will probably post to the to the Facebook group. Yeah. See if maybe they can help me. It's like half gone. So maybe somebody out there can help um, identify it. Cool. And that'll be something. Very cool. Um, and then I'll go to this one here. I just love this guy. Yeah. I was watering my plants with it today. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, hand blown, it looks to be. I mean, it's solid. I watered my plants with it. <laughs> it holds water. It kind of looks like a potion thing because of like how skinny this is. I know. It's, really it's cool. just really cool. Um, haven't done much research on it, so hopefully I'll find some more stuff out on it and, and uh, get that listed. I have a feeling it'll... Probably listed a little higher than the fifteen dollar range. Probably twenty, twenty five. Yeah. I think I listed the blanco for like twenty six or something. Yeah. Just because yeah. it's hard to tell what they're going for if you can't find it. Right. So, um, kinda... so it's kind of based on your judgment. Right. So. All right. Very cool. Sticking with like glass and kind of vases. I found this um, glass. It is a Fenton, um, and it is ruffled this it would be considered ruffle because of the top edge and it actually i don't know if you can see but it has like a pattern and the pattern is called fern and so if you look really closely um it's like a floral kind of viney leafy pattern on the vase so when i did some research um it turns out that this vase is actually the glass is blue and then it has a overlay I believe it's called so it gives it a almost like a a lighter blue mm -hmm. Does that makes sense so um, I was able to find this pattern this color with the overlay in different um, uh, not a vase but I was able to find it in a um, like a smaller called wheat vase and I found it in a pitcher uh, and they were listed for I think like 50 bucks um, and $39. So 39 for that small wheat vase and then like 50 for the, um, the pitcher. So this is kind of in the middle in size. I don't know if it's as valuable as those other two. So I'd probably list it for maybe like 25 to 30. That sounds right. So um, I'm interested if anybody knows about this piece or about Fenton, let us know, drop a comment. We'd love to know. Yep. Um, so I got that guy and then Sticking with the blue, I'll do some of my mugs. So I found these at a local thrift store. Um, oh, and I paid $6 for this, which is kind of high for me for a vase, but I knew it was Fenton <laughs> and I wanted to learn. So I was like, okay, I'll pay $6 for a vase. But um, these mugs, I paid 50 cents for. I got three of them, which is an odd set, um, but that's the name the of the game today. today. Um, and I bought these because they um, said France on the bottom. They say Archipel, France. So like the um, the makers on the bottom, and it is a milk glass vase with blue flowers. So there's a bunch listed online. Um, one person was selling, I think, a group of six of them for twenty five. One was going for eight dollars. I would probably list three of them for like fifteen, something like that, fifteen mm -hmm. to twenty. Um, but I like them. I like They're floral really designs. And milk glass. I'm, I'm interested in that. Yeah. It's not your typical kind of milk glass. It's almost like wider. If you look yeah. from this one to this one. <laughs> Looking at this called milk glass and then you have the actual like Fire King milk glass right here. It's very different. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about this guy. That guy. I picked him up um, for <laughs> $2. He's a Snoopy coffee mug. 
And on the other side, it says, I think I'm allergic to morning. My kind of saying. <laughs> um, there are multiple of them listed online. Um, I think people like Snoopy. Like, that's a, a common thing it's to, thing. like, collect. Yeah. So I'm hoping that somebody will see this and want to pick it up. Um, the ones that were going online were going for, like, 19 to 25 dollars i think i'm going to go lower just because all our mugs are kind of in the 10 dollar range whenever we list them so i'll probably do like 12 to 15. yeah that makes sense so that makes sense okay yeah next me yeah you can go all right go i'll do some more glasses um i will start with these i'll go next to these um they're really pretty they are mid-century I can cool. find this pattern in wine glasses, and I can find this pattern in um, like regular drinking glasses, but I haven't found, I, I couldn't find any of these little short stemmed ones. So what are those usually marketed towards? If they're short stemmed. Um, it's barware. Okay. So like your cocktails, cocktails or your mix like highball glasses. Yeah. Um, like your Jack and Coke or something like that, I guess. So no, these are, they're really pretty. Uh, they got gold leaf. I saw, um, when I was looking them up, it's 24 karat gold. So cool. did somebody say that in their listing? Yeah. Or is it really? I don't know. There's no 24 karat marked on the glass, but, um, it's raised. So those are pretty cool. Um, so again, couldn't find exact comps, but for the three, I would probably go $20 because, um, because they're just that cool. Yeah, they are cool. Um, and more mid-century glasses. These Those Greek ones, cool. I don't, they remind me of mom. Uh, of course, all this stuff. I, I think we had <laughs> something like this when I was growing up. Well, I'm definitely going to have to show her. Yeah. Um, but this this Greek goddess pattern. <laughs> that would be the last person I would think of. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. Um, maybe she had a vase or something with the Greek goddesses yeah. on it. Um, I don't know. So that's why I picked them up. There's three of them. They're a cool shape, too. Yeah, they're a nice little cocktail glass. Um, and they're in really good condition. I don't see, like, any scratches on yeah, the... Yeah, the paint's really yeah. clean. Very cool. They're very clean. Um, again, mid-century, so 15 to $20 for the three of those. So very cool. So, sticking with glasses, um, we have... These were actually in our family and someone was getting rid of them. So they were like, do you want to see if you can look into them and see how much they're going for and see if you can put them on your site? So yeah, we took them, of course. So we actually didn't pay anything for these. They were already in the family. Yay. Um, hi, Bobby. Mm -hmm. um, and online, there's a bunch of them listed. This must have been a popular thing to buy um, when yeah. they were released in the 90s. They are a Warner Brothers Happy Birthday Bugs mug, a 50th anniversary. Um, I was looking online, and they were going two for 15 so maybe about like $7 a piece. So I think I already have them listed, and I think they're up there for like 12 for the pair. Okay. Just to go under, since there's so many listed, hoping that somebody will just pick them up since they're a little cheaper than the ones already on there. Yeah. So, but yeah, they're clean. Um, no chips or the, and again, like the paint and the picture, no scratches or anything. So they are cool. Um, and then our last kind of cup items that we have, I picked up these tea mugs. Um, they are made by us, uh, either Shackley Premium or um, which, Kind of confuses me because it says Shackley Premium Herbal Formulas. So that kind of, to me, sounds like it is related to the tea. Yeah. So I don't know if Shackley is a tea brand or if it's just a glass mug maker. Um, but either way, Shackley is the maker. And these are really cool because there's four of them. And on each one is an individual, like, tea um, mix. And so, like, this one has... Well, it's in a different language, but it has like <laughs> peppermint um, and some other herbal flowers that they recommend that you put together to make like a flavored tea. 
So this one has ginger, licorice, and julep. And then these other two over here. So I thought they were really cool. This one says ginger, fennel, and peppermint, which to me does not sound very does good. does not sound good at all. Um, but somebody probably likes that. But I thought they were cute. So again, I really like floral stuff, and this just stood out. I'm not a tea drinker, but I would still buy these and just have them on display. Yeah. They do have some tea stains that I need to try to get out. I'm going to try Magic Eraser, but mm -hmm. hopefully they'll get out. And if they get out, um, I'm going to sell the four of them as a set um, for about 20 bucks. Okay. So. All right. Um, we have... What else do I have? You should do the little mushroom guys. The little mushroom guys? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't even know this was a thing. I no. saw this little um, little metal tin, and I thought, oh, that's a cute little trinket box, right? Yeah. Right? But then I opened it up, and it's these mushroom napkin rings. I don't know if they look like this. <laughs> um, so, it's got... Here, I'll hold some of them. Four different mushrooms mushrooms oh so it's got four um napkin rings on it the box says um designs by is it Metz <laughs> metzky is that what that is metzky yeah metzky ink and the label says pewter will retain a soft patina if cleaned only with zero gauge steel wool Huh. So I probably won't mess with I started maybe, I started kind of scrubbing on it a little bit, but I will just leave it as it is and um, let whoever buys it decide if they want to scrub on it or leave it. What, the box? And they're talking about the box or both? I think the box, because these don't look as oxidized. No, they don't even look like they're, you know, discolored at all. But maybe because they were in the box? Yeah, they have a date. Oh, is there a date? Oh, yeah, 1975? Yeah. Uh, oh, this one right? says 74. That's my year. Oh, yeah, it's on the little mushroom, too. Oh, so different dates from the 70s. Nice. Very cool, though. They are cool. So when mm. I think of, like, mushroom decor and awe, uh, um... An owl decor, I think of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Kim probably would like that. Yeah. Kim would probably pick that up. Yeah. yeah. But those are cute. So these are cute. These are cool. Um, $12 to $15. Um, so after that, some more 70s stuff. Oh, this real quick. I have... What is <laughs> okay. So I have this really cool thermos. You know, a, a thermos brand, and it's the red, the red and pink plaid one. And I carried it, I took my coffee to work in it every day. Yeah. So they last, you know, 30, 40 years, I drop them and I break them. So the thermos is glass insulated, so just shattered. So I think I'm just going to list these because people always need replacement parts. These are, All right. these are, you know, authentic retro. So if someone has the thermos but their they, lid cracked yeah, or... Yeah, the, the, the lid itself often gets lost. You know, these things break. So it's a replacement part. I'll go ahead and throw these up in case somebody needs them because I don't need it no more because my mm, thermos broke. It's so sad. It's so sad. I have a big one yet, but then my little one broke because <laughs> that's how I do things. <laughs> um, some more 70s retro stuff. The Melamine. I love Melamine or some people call it Melmac. Um, I got more sugar and creamer and four little plates. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. So they flip about everything is about twelve to fifteen. Yeah. It's a pretty common pretty common price range. Mm-hmm. Um need some more? Well, I can do my last one. Okay. Um I'm really excited about this guy. So <laughs> I bought this tooth <laughs> jar at Goodwill because I don't it just was cool. I mean, who has a tooth jar? It's and it says different. sweet tooth on it and it looks like vintage with that green writing. It, yeah. It doesn't look, you know, well printed. It looks mm -hmm. very vintage. Um and it one at one time had like probably those felt mm -hmm. um little round dots on it to protect it. But I found it at Goodwill. I paid 
two dollars for it and online there's not that many of them but i was able to find this exact one. Oh, people were selling them for between 30 and 40 dollars and they were um labeling it as like a dentist office jar you know to try to get like a dentist to buy it right right um, makes sense i was thinking because i always think this halloween <laughs> <laughs> because it's weird and it's i don't know teeth are kind of spooky right right um so i want to list it for 30 dollars um to and see what i can get okay and there's no chips um he's a little dirty but he might have like a little crack here but it doesn't look bad Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think so, that's it for me. My you last some little guys. Up I've front. got a bunch of little stuff up front. Um, this little bud vase. I don't. I don't know if it's modern or vintage. Of course, I can't find much about it, but it, it's got a vintage feel to it. The and colors and stuff. The colors and the construction of it. I actually. Um, it's so cute. I really love this. This spring, I've had it for a minute. This spring, I put one of my poppies in it from Aww, Grandma's. Yeah. I got some poppies in my yard from Grandma's, and the poppy sat in there. It was really precious. Thank um, you. So, um, probably 5 to $10 for this one. 5 to 7 Yeah. And that'll be easy to ship. It'll be it's easy small. to ship. It's small. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like the small stuff. <laughs> um, my little blue guys. Um, I don't know, just these little blue figurines. The little Dutch girl. Um, she's made in Japan, so maybe she's not Dutch. No, she's Dutch. She's got the... Yeah, no, she's definitely Dutch. Definitely Dutch, but she was made in Japan. And then the little Japan water boy. So, um... Now, were you able to find them? Not yet. I'm going to look a little bit more on those, mm -hmm. um, because I, I didn't find much. Yeah. Um, they don't have markings or anything. And like... Blue and white people are kind of common, right? So if you just Google blue and white Dutch girl, I bet a lot of things come up. A lot of things come up. Yeah. Yeah. So um, 8 to $10 for, for these guys. I don't know about this guy. He's just so cute. And it would look really cute. So I'm like a shelf sitter. Yeah. You know, you yeah. got a shelf with all your little stuff on it. And you need something small in the front. Little, small little guy in the front. So like five bucks. I mean, it's... It reminds me of the mugs that you've been picking up. The coffee mugs. The coffee mugs. You're right. Yeah. Which, I didn't bring any coffee mugs tonight. No. It reminds me of it. Like, the colored, raised painting. Yeah. 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 I have done no research on him yet. <laughs> but, I probably should. He's probably, you know, I'll do a little <laughs> research and find out. Oh, it's a super special little it's guy. Little guy. And my last guy is... This little coin plate. That's very um, cool. That's totally what do they call that? Old Hollywood? What do they call it? Oh. The, like the, the the gold and the black. Yeah, yeah. Um like the nineteen not not um art deco, but like the twenties or something. Right, right. Hollywood glam? Hollywood glam? Is that what they call it? I think so. Could be. Um it's just a little coin dish. Oh, you little can even see it on the back. Yeah, very cool. We're on there. Mm -hmm. um, art house. Art house made in USA. Oh, cool. Um, but art house brought up all kinds of stuff, but nothing that looked like a like little that. little dish or a little plate. Um, so I will continue to do research on this, and figure out what I'm going to do with them. I'll get it listed. That's very cool, though. Yeah. Again, reminds me of something mom would have. <laughs> Everything reminds me of mom. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll have to bring her on. Yeah. So. All right. She's so cool. So, so I guess that's it. Yeah. If you guys see anything that you have at home that your mother had that <laughs> you know something about, like Fenton um, or these little blue and white guys, Please leave us a comment. You can message us. We have an Instagram page um, if you're mm -hmm. following us on YouTube right now. We have a YouTube page if you're on our Instagram. <laughs> um, but we would like to hear from you guys. Um, we enjoy yeah. finding this stuff, and we hope you guys yeah. enjoy watching us. Yeah. And if there's anything that you would like to have, um, visit our Etsy shop. The link will be below. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. 
You can like our video below. Please subscribe. Subscribe. We try to like. shoot out a video every week. Um, and on our Instagram page, we'll post some pictures of stuff we found, stuff we yeah. passed up on. We'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, you've really got to get some cutting out. Oh <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs>